Yeah. Uh, this is Valhalla Hills, Tim. You see what I'm playing? An island. Oh, yeah, it's an island. In the middle of the ocean. I don't have the best rendering computer in the world. But you can see here that it's... It's an island. Yeah, it's, that's definitely an island. What's going on with this game is you have... It's like every island is an, another mission. Oh, really? So I need to complete this island. You can actually storm and shit in this game, so... Got to be careful. But you see, you have fucking bears and shit that can kill me. Yeah. I have my my small my small Vikings. Oh really? My little Viking oh, tribe. Oh yeah. They even have names. It's so, wow. Yeah, they have names. You get an achievement if you rename one. <laughs> oh my god. Because it th then then also, it's it's uh, that person will be uh, named that thing you change it to throughout the whole game. Yeah. Because you get the same, you get basically the same dudes. You can get even more dudes too. Yeah. So I see with like buildings and stuff they have like a, a hexagonal or like a civ tile thing going on yeah and yeah. like you have resources are different everywhere on the map that's like really interesting yeah because they can play with terrain like that. it's a nice little game this is like the facebook game that i would play yeah but it's in nice fucking graphics and it's you know it, it's... Well, i don't play them anyway <laughs> But I mean, this this looks better. Come on, yeah. this looks better than a Facebook game. Yes. This look hell. This looks better than a mobile platform game. Yeah, because it is. Would, this is a. It looks like a PC game. Very nice. I mean, is this like also on, on tablets or something or? I don't or think this, so. This is PC only, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. The hell is that? Bounty train, dude. What the fuck is that? It's bounty train, dude. You're trying to build the incontinental trains from America. <laughs> incontinental. <laughs> yeah. You mean transco- wait, what? Nah, he means incontinental. You know, America and states. And they actually didn't get united. Um, up until the point that the entire railroad network was throughout all the states and everything. Yeah. Before yeah. that was like no man's land, yo. Like shit. Sucks, don't it? That's good. I like trains. Bounty train. Oh, you need to see the start screen. I even like that. So basically, you you want me to go over the story a bit? Oh wait. Yeah. They have some really nice music there, though. Just play it, man, and tell me what you're doing. <clears throat> well, basically, the story is that I I'm uh, inheriting my uh, father's... Um, his part of the railroad company. And uh, he died under very suspicious uh, circumstances. It turns out one of his uh, co-owners of the company... Uh, wants to build this new uh, railroad, um, the railroad that's supposed to connect west with east. Yeah. He wants to build it through uh, Native American land, and uh, my father didn't want to do that. All right. Yeah. That's probably why he died under suspicious circumstances. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna fight for my dad's, uh, you know, to for my dad to get his way. Yeah. All right. That's probably yeah. the way to do it. So let, let's see my objectives. Okay, I have money. Well, basically, have you money. got money and you have to go to Portland. So you have to meet your brother, I think. No, I, I'm in Portland. Already. Oh my god. Tough luck for those Indians. <laughs> Tough luck for those Indians. Everything sounds terrible. I'm glad it's not my problem. So I need to find my brother Robert. Exactly. And my brother Samuel. And my sister Pearl. And my brother Michael. And my brother. So, uh, and my brother. Oh, okay, we don't need to pay. 
the first unlock on the railroad because it's a starter, I guess. As soon as you see that you have some locks on the railroad there, you need to pay a license to be able to run your uh, train on the tracks. Oh, really? Yeah. And you see that actually this is like this is like it's supposed to be a board game because you have uh, these characters and they're placed on uh, bases. See yeah, that? Exactly. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. It's really nice because it, uh, those uh, characters represent uh, people on the road. They can be friends, they can be foes. Uh, depends on what reputation you have with them. Uh, dude, this, this is like dude, this reminds me of a board game that... Um, uh, it was the Lord of the Rings board game. And what you would do is they would have this track of the way to Mordor. Uh, and you could flip the board around and it would be a whole other um, part of the campaign, you know? Yeah. So it was from start to finish. It was kind of like, like this game does. Like from you're going from one place to the next, to the next, to the next. And then you flip the board and you go, you start there and you go to the next. To the Dude, next, do you see you how to... insanely big this map is? Dude, I know a way to make <laughs> this into like a board game. This is this could be fantastic. I want this as a board game. <laughs> it would be great. Just a, an old style board game, you know. Yeah. This is made for for a board game. This is virtual board gaming. Mm. And I love it. I mean, this game. Oh man. So we're gonna when travel to Boston here, and yeah. we can see the distance. We can see it, uh, how many days it will take. It will oh, take yeah. two days to travel to Boston, and it will take 2.5 tons of coal. And yeah, that's fine, we have five tons there. on this. So we'll travel. And on the way, we uh, meet Johnny, and Johnny says, Hey, if you want to get through, then you gotta give us a little donation. You know what I mean? We can either pay $240 and get gain an attitude of five, or we can uh, say, Get your own goods, outlaw scum, and attack him. You wanna s see what it looks like when, when we attack them? Yeah. So yeah, the attitude with the outlaws will be uh, down, but I don't really give a shit about the outlaws. I'm a good guy, you know. Yeah, exactly. The Native Americans, I'll be more. Okay, so we need to uh, up the the speed on our train. Oh, not too much. You see, this is also like a simulator, a train riding simulator. We have yeah, our boost. I'm gonna so. boost it. There we go, boost in it. I don't want to boost it too high. If you get on the red side on this uh, meter there, it's gonna be really bad. You're gonna damage your train and all kinds of shit will break loose. Now it might be that our train will... Uh, will stop. Oh yeah, it stops. God! Did they shoot you? Yeah, they're oh, shooting no. at me. We're, we're at... Okay, we're... Uh, yeah, if you uh, have... Uh, y you can transport stuff, and if you have oil... On the train... Yeah. And they shoot at your train, it's not gonna be good, you know. Yeah, I see. All kinds of shit will break loose. You'll be in all sorts of trouble. Yes, okay, so uh, the last game we got here, the third game we got from Delic Entertainment is Sky Hill. And uh, it's a good game. It's a point and click adventure uh, survival game. The point of the game is to progress from the top level because you're a VIP sweet type guy. You really like your high-class stuff. You uh, need to progress down the building. And then uh, I ha really have no idea what happens when you get down. That's the beauty of it. You have to figure that shit out yourself. <laughs> so, yeah. And a thank you to Tim and Rick who helped me uh, comment on this video. A uh, huge shout out for Tim's uh, YouTube. It's Gunkor. You can find his channel in the annotation right here or in the description of this video. And you can find uh, all of our cool videos in it, its entirety, all the good stuff, all the fun parts, every good, good
good moment to go find right there. Check his channel out. We're not aiming to make a lot of review videos, but we're gonna make a lot of uh, highlight moments and just push out all the really hilarious moments out there. So you should stay tuned for more videos coming up. So like, comment and subscribe. Have a good one.